Hello, good morning. My name is David. I'm so happy to be here at 7 at 7. I work with the worship uh, creative arts department. Uh, it's an honor to be a part of your morning this day. Uh, if you're just coming on right now, let us know who you're watching from. Uh, like and share, comment. There's people to, to, to pray with you in the comment section right now. Um, my topic today is going to be about the the power of Christ in us on everyday basis that he's made available through his blood. So invite a friend, tell him to log on because this is the day that the Lord has made and let's rejoice and be glad in it. So Father, I thank you for this morning. I thank you that we're able to to wake up with a with with love and with power and with strength. I thank you for these your people that are watching right now. May the words that come out of my mouth, may the words that uh, they hear be instrumental in their heart for this day, for what they're going to encounter. Because I know you have empowered them to solve problems, to bring answers to situations, to be an encouragement to somebody. God Almighty, to speak your word to those that need to learn, but also to be encouraged and, and to be able to hear you your spirit in them through your might name father god i pray i'm going to be reading from colossians 3 16. it says let the message of christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms through hymns and songs from the spirit singing to god with gratitude in your in in your heart God is saying that there's a new song in our hearts every day. There's a new psalm in our hearts every day. There's a new word in our hearts every day. And you know what? You can't believe in the sovereign God and quit when the going gets tough. I want to be a man of a different spirit. I want to see the sovereignty of God is really my cry today, this morning. Uh, because what I know, the power of God is at work in me. His strength is continually being renewed in me. His power is being made perfect in me. His power is being made perfect in you. His spirit is definitely renewing us every single day. There's a word, there's a song, there's a hymn, there's a rhythm, there is... There's a heartbeat for God every single day. And my desire is, God, show me your heart desire today. I pray for everybody I'm going to meet. I pray for everybody that's going to encourage me. My heart posture is ready to receive what you have in store for me. Because every single day to God is a day for the kingdom of God to grow. Is a day for the power of God to be fully demonstrated. Not specifically about what we say or what we do but for us to be a conduit for that power of God to flow through prophetically uh, to flow through in our giving to flow through in everything that we do and for the younger generation to pick up on the grace of God and how we boast about the faithfulness of who Christ is in Psalms 2011 it says a man who puts on his armor to go to battle should not boast like a man who takes it off after the battle has been won. We win before we start because Christ already won. When we're starting our day, we start in victory. We're, we are clothed in, in righteousness. And so we live out the day in righteousness. The peace of God surpasses understanding dwells in us. So therefore we live in the peace of God. Uh, we have we have the full armor of Christ. So therefore, we live in the demonstration of the full armor of Christ. There is no arrow of the enemy that can defeat you. But it's all of them are quenched by the faith, our shield of faith. I thank you, Heavenly Father God, for people that are being changed by your love. Another version puts it this way. A warrior putting on his sword for battle should not boast like a warrior who has already 
one. We got room to boast before even the day begins. Because why? We've woken up with Christ. He has seen the end from the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the fast and He's the last. Our day has taken off. I, when I think about this, I think of when the planes are taken off into, into, into the air. That's what our faith stance is, that I'm a child of God. So this day, come what is going to come, what trouble it may seem, whatever challenge is going to be there. The Bible says, be strong. Challenges are going to come. But be planted in the peace of God. Be planted in the authority of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want to agree with you today with every declarations that we have made now so far that no weapon formed against you shall prosper that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus you have the shield of faith to quench all the arrows of of the enemy and you are a mighty victorious warrior of Jesus Christ I pray that you have a blessed day and may you increase in the blessing of God on your life this day I speak increase for financially I speak increase in peace and I speak increase in knowing God have a blessed evening and see you Sunday bye bye